Hello guys, I wanted to clarify something on my latest video on differentials uh, because I wasn't that clear when I explained it. So we have that the differential of a function, so the linear increment of the function equals to the derivative of the function at some point times the this increment delta x. And this delta x is just a normal delta x, the finite difference uh, we're all familiar with, so nothing new. And I said that we could replace this delta x by a dx, so something like this. And why can we do this? Because let's take the differential of this function, g of x equals x. So dg equals to the derivative, that is 1 times delta x. So as you can see, the differential equals to the increment. And since the function equals x, we can replace this by an x because this is the name of the function. And, as you can see, dx equals delta x. But what does it mean that dx equals delta x? It sounds rather weird, isn't it? Well, it's true that it sounds weird. But what I really mean is that if you take some, you know, uh, finite difference here, so for example, for this delta here, there's an increment of the tangent line, but this is a line. So the tangent line to this line, well, simply is the same line. So the increment of the tangent, so the, the line, is this difference here. And this difference here is our dx, the g dx, call it whatever you want to. So as you can see, also the dx as this df here is a finite difference. And that's the main reason I was replacing this delta x by the x, because the differential of the function g of x equals x equals to the increment. And so talking about a finite difference and the differential of that function is the same, because here we have an equal sign. It means that if we take a change here in x, now, the picture is not drawn perfectly, but this segment here should be equal in length to this segment here. So this finite difference, this increment in x equals the increment in the function, because this is also called the function identity, because it takes the number and gives you the same number. So that's the reason why df equals f prime of x times dx. That's it. Thank you for watching.